Hello and welcome to this instructional video for the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, which is going to help you get steadier and more stable shots using your mobile phone. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to mount the phone into the device. So to do that, we need to pull these bits at the back here and just try and slide the phone in there and it should slide in fairly easily. Once it's done that, we need to do this so that we can see that it's not balanced correctly. The next stage is there is this little dial here, which we need to turn so it's unlocked. And we just need to try and pull it out to a point where the phone, when I let go of this, is balanced correctly. It's not quite at the moment, so we just need to pull it in just a small amount. And that's more or less right. Then we need to stop the phone hanging like it is at the moment. It needs to hang flat. So to do that, just make it about level. Take this bit here and this side bit here and just squeeze those together with your fingers, let go and see where it balances until it balances about flat. If it's not working, try the other way and keep going until when you let go, it's more or less level. After that, we just need to start filming with it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn it on. If you hold this M button here at the bottom, you can see the three lights go and it goes green and then it springs into life. Then you can use this with your phone's camera app. So just open the camera and as you can see, it's now ready to record. Now there's two modes to this in the camera, in the camera apps version. So at the moment what we have here, if I set it to video mode, is this is just in the green mode, which means it'll follow. And that means when I turn it one way, the phone will eventually follow with me, meaning we can do smoother pans with it. The nicest technique to use is we'll just use my index finger. And if you point with your index finger while you turn, if I point right at the camera now, it'll more or less follow you. So you just want to have it look at you and it'll follow it. You can turn it around, it'll follow again. Then if we press the M button again, you can see it goes a yellow orange color. And now when I turn it, the phone is not following. I can do that all the way around and the phone isn't following me. So to do that, we now have, if I got it here, we've got a little joystick here and we can use this to just turn the camera with us, meaning we have complete control over it. It's not trying to follow us. It'll just do exactly what we want. And it'll go up and down or left and right. It can't do both, it can't move diagonally, but it can move one or the other. And that also works with the green mode, but it's mostly to be used in this yellow mode where it's not tracking so that we have a bit more freedom with it. The Osmo Mobile 2 can also be used with the DJI Go app, and that can be found on any phone app store. You just need to search for DJI Go before P4 and download that one. It'll usually appear on your phone as DJI Go. If it says DJI Go 4, that's not the right app. But then you just need to open it up, and it's going to take you to the app. The app start, starts with a little video that can be skipped, and then it'll show a lot of different devices. What we're looking for is the Osmo Mobile 2, you'll see it here. Press connect your device, and then you just need to turn on the device by holding the M button until you see the green, and you need to press connect. So the DJI app has a few more options than a normal camera app, and it can also shoot uh, pictures as well as video. But for the purpose of this, we want to have video. So if I show you on this screen here, you can see in the top left corner, there is a couple of icons, a camera option and a video camera option. If you want to click that and it's going to change into video mode. In video mode, we can uh, record uh, films in different resolutions. By default, the app starts at 720p, but different phones can record higher and we want to be recording as high as we can. This phone here can record in 4K, so if we just tap 4K, tap the camera icon again, it's now going to record all our video in 4K. The app has some interesting and quite powerful features connected to this gimbal. As you can see here, there's a little uh, zoom switch, which you can just about see is zooming the video just as I flick it up, flick it up, zooms it out, flicking it down, zooms it in. You can record using the button here and there's a lot of options on the screen. This one in the bottom left corner here will let us switch into tracking mode, for example. Now tracking mode is interesting because it lets you choose an icon on your screen that the phone will try to track. So let's choose the keys logo on the desk there. If we tap that, you can see the phone is now following that. If I try and move around, you can just about see that the phone is just trying to move it to follow. You can see it's going down, panning up a little bit, it's going across, and it'll go across a bit more there. It's quite hard to show with 
a little bit of motion. So you can press the, the little icon there, it's normally yellow. If it goes green, it's in tracking mode. If it's yellow, it's not. So one of the interesting modes that the DJI Go app lets you use is different time-lapse modes, but especially the end time-lapse mode, which lets you use this and have it automatically move to produce time-lapse videos with a bit of a pan without you having to try and move it slowly over a period of time. Now, the way you want to do that on the app is, if I turn it to show us, there's this little icon here that says normal. Click that and these little options will appear. Press M time-lapse and it's gonna say create position. Now use the joystick on the gimbal to choose a start position. Let's have it shooting at the table and then move it somewhere else. Let's have it go and look at the camera. Press that, it says A and B. You can add more if you want, but we're gonna have A and B for a start and finish and press next. You're then going, going to get this little uh, menu that shows you how often it takes shots and how long the move is going to be. And at the bottom, it'll say generate video and how long the video will end up being. So this move is going to be uh, a minute to do, but because of the interval between each shot is actually going to only generate us four seconds of footage. There's also a little tick box here that says keep the screen on during shooting. It should start off, uh, but if it, like I've done here, has the tick mark, turn it off because that way it's not going to be wasting your battery life. Once you're ready, press start. And as you can see, the gimbal is getting ready to start filming. Now, while I'm talking, it's going to start filming and you can see it's very slowly moving to try and film the whole thing. And it's filming it all in 4K. So as you can see, this move's only got five seconds left now and it's just finishing the move. It's, it's moved the whole way up from the desk to the camera and it's finished. You can play back your videos from within the app by pressing the little play button here and they'll all show up here. So let's have a quick look at our video. It's only four seconds. You press the play button and you can see that it's just moved its way through and it's moved up to the camera. Now, if you're filming something that's moving and you want to follow it, or you're filming something for more than a minute of furniture, then I'm sure it can create some very interesting videos indeed. So that's a basic guide on how to use the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. If you need any more help, there's plenty of information online and you can always talk to the kit store for help.